My name is uh, Gilbert Fields. I'm supervising the installation of the cabins on the rim. So we are lifting what we call the V-frame legs. It's two legs put together in a jig as one unit, and we bolt this to the rim. We have to measure some dimensions to make sure that the cabin is going to fit. The tolerances are fairly tight. It's about six to seven millimeters, which is just above, a, just around a quarter of an inch. When I'm happy with it, when I'm within the measurements that the engineers told me to be, then uh, we're good to go. So far, everything went according to plan. But each cabin is 25 tons. We got 28 of them. And uh, it's more the complexity of those parts. The cabin has to be self-leveling as the rim turns around, as the wheel turns. We were planning to do one V-leg and one cabin a day, but American Bridge was so successful that now we're able to do two and two. We lost a little bit of time because of the rain lately, so now we're going three cabins, two V-legs. So we definitely want to be always a step ahead, so when they ask for the V-leg and the fish plate bang, it's ready. They ask for the cabin, it's right there. I was there for the first cabin to go up and that was very nerve-wracking because uh, there was a lot of parts and pieces that had to fit just perfect. We're talking thousands of an inch they had to fit. You, you try to think of everything that can go wrong, you think you cover all the bases, but you never know until it actually goes on. And when that first cabin went on, that was just, it was a relief. And then it pulled out of the station and it was so beautiful. I just saw them for the first time last week, all of them, and it's a phenomenal thing.